Hello everyone, this is Pico Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video. We're going to talk about tennis and the recent historic achievement for British tennis when young Emma Raducanu became the first British women tennis player in 44 years to win a Grand Slam. Raducanu won the US Open 2021, defeating Canadian Leila Fernandez in two sets in 6-3, 6-4. Now, even more impressive about her achievement was the fact that she didn't lose a single set throughout the whole tournament and she entered the draw as a qualifier. Now, of course, the significance of this win is truly amazing because the last time a British tennis women's player won a Grand Slam was way back in 1977 when Virginia Wade won in Wimbledon. So this is very much of a transformative moment for Emma's career she would of course now have her life completely changed by this but post these celebration wins the questions will now be asked how much further can she go within her own career will she become the next biggest female tennis player will she become the next big superstar of the sport or will she become derailed by all the hype and focus and attention that will surely surround her within the next couple of weeks and mumps and make no mistake about it now she's got a huge amount of potential in terms of her career and where she can go within the overall sport all of the scrutiny and hope surrounding her no doubt about it she will be a cast iron certainty to win the bbc sports personality of the year she will get no doubt endless amount of sports image deals and endorsements and various other accolades all showered upon her and rightly so for it's a truly a great achievement as per my earlier question, how much further can Emma go? Will she go on to be one of the most prominent players within all the sport or will this just be an essential flash in the pan like we've seen most recently with the likes of Ostapenko. If you remember when she won the French Open, I believe she was only 17 or 18 and she's done nothing since. So it'll be interesting to see in the next upcoming weeks and months the certain trajectory that Emma's career goes in. Now, I would say... It's actually benefited her that there is no more Grand Slam events until Australian Open next year. Because if there was, let's say, a next Grand Slam within the next two to three months, then of course, all of the hype and the scrutiny and expectation would be surrounding Emma. Now, of course, you've still got lots of Masters events and you've got the WTA Championships at the end of the year. So there's still be a lot of attention and scrutiny surrounding Emma, but it won't quite as be as intense as if let's say Wimbledon was the next Grand Slam tournament following her win here so to an extent she'll have a bit of downtime just be able to collect her thoughts set herself down and she can hopefully spend a bit of time away from the media once she does the post interviews and just get back to focusing on her game and hopefully as I mentioned before she won't get too derailed by the obvious social media presence and attention that will be focused upon her so how far can she go now Without being negative on this, we have to be fair here. And both her and Fernandez on their way to the final, they didn't have to be anybody significant. So they didn't have to come across, let's say, an Osaka or a Halep or a Pliskova. Okay, they didn't have to come across any one of the really big top players, Muragutsa, those type of players as well. They were kind of almost there by default. I mean, don't get me wrong, they still earned their position and they still had to play other opponents to get to the final. But they didn't quite beat the top players around us so I think we just have to gain a bit of perspective before we start anointing her the next big superstar the next big dominant force within the sport there's then also the issue of how hype and scrutiny can affect younger players and um, will she make the mistakes that we've seen with recent younger players now we all know that the women's tennis game is absolutely desperate for that next crossover tennis star the next batch of huge superstars that can come in and take over in the game and very much take over the baton by Serena Williams who we still know today as the biggest name within all of women's tennis now yes of course we did look to Naomi Osaka to fill that position having just won recently the US Open and Australian Open back to back from last year but as we've seen with the last six to eight months Naomi has obviously had lots of issues and pressures that she's had to deal with in terms of the media and her putting out certain tournaments. So we will wait and see if Osaka can come back and really get back a foothold in terms of the position that she had when she was winning all of those Grand Slams back to back. So will Emma go the same way? Will she succumb to the media pressures or will she go on to become a dominant multi-slam winner we will wait and see but I think overall it's just great for women's tennis and it's great for British sport in general you know that we've just had now potentially a next big superstar to come in and 
This win obviously is important for the sport in general because it can cross over and bring non-sport fans to the sport. But at the moment, it's a great achievement. Just congratulations to Emma Raducanu on an amazing achievement. Finally now, we've had a female British player win a Grand Slam again and hopefully we won't have to wait another 44 years before that happens again in the long run. So those are my quick thoughts and feelings on Emma Raducanu winning the US Open and hopefully now she can go on to become one of the next big superstars of the game. It will be good for the tennis, it will be good for British sport and hopefully she can begin a whole host of new, younger, fresher names that can come in and really start that elite group of women tennis players within the game and hopefully then that can garner more non-sports fans to the sport overall so those are my quick thoughts and feelings on the great historic achievement of emma Raducanu winning her first us open at 19 years old let me know what you think in the comments below please also hit and like the subscription and like and notification buttons so i can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future but that's it for now take care of yourselves stay safe distances and i will see you very very soon